Um, I'm incredibly shocked, um, humbled, and thrilled to be nominated by my fellow peers for the AJ100 Contribution to the Profession Award. Um, what an extraordinary honor. I'm, I can't quite believe that I've been selected for this. And when I started my career, um, I really didn't know what I was letting myself in for. Um, I, read, I barely had any um, sort of connections to a sort of patronage, um, but I had a group of friends who trusted me, who allowed me to experiment and to work and to express myself. And I'm so happy that the work of those early years caught um, the imagination of a generation and maybe offered uh, a techniques and routes to how to make contemporary architecture in our time. Um, when I was uh, starting, there was, there was, there was nobody. I, there, wasn't a kind of, there wasn't a leader who was of color that I could say, wow, I you know, want to be like that. Um, the people I could refer to were dying or dead. And, um, uh, and that was really sad and tragic. And I'm, I'm, I'm happy that you know, I, we get emails almost every day from mothers and families saying you know, how amazing that we saw an image of you and has inspired my son or daughter to, to do something. And it's not to be underestimated how empowering that is, that, um, that, are, that all parts of society feel included in the discussion about the built environment. The built environment is for all. It's not for any group. It's for all, and it's also a, a place where those who are coming into the country also will engage. So it's also a, a device that also is a kind of welcome to the world. And I think that it's really incumbent on the profession to bring in um, the best people um, and, to, and, to, and to diversify, to have many voices. My work has always just been about trying to explore a criticality, trying to explore um, a contemporary condition, trying to explore the time we're in and to try to express that in architecture as, as best as I could. Um, and you know, luckily, 20 years on, um, now doing work around the world, which I still can't believe we're doing, um, it's amazing to be able to, to kind of have the lens of thinking about national identity, thinking about social issues, thinking about the power of how architecture can really edify and transform communities. That's still my, my great ambition. I sort of wake up every morning wondering, you know, am I still into this thing? And, um, and every single time it's yes, because there's so much to do and I'm, I'm moved by how architecture moves and can change society. I think it's up to every generation to continually move architecture and to make it relevant to the generations. And that's why I think what we're all doing is so incredibly important. I know sort of sometimes when you're working and um, it seems as though it's a thankless task and people are sort of beating you down and value engineering everything down to the bone. Um, I think that it's, it's important to realize that actually what we do really does make a difference and that the art form is not just about you know, numbers and, you know, on time and on budget, but about an art form that really transforms our society and edifies our places. I'm incredibly sorry that I can't be in the room with you tonight, but I can't um, tell you how happy I am to receive this award. And thank you, AJ, for, um, uh, for giving me this award. And thank you, um, my colleagues, for voting for me. I'm, I'm incredibly thrilled and humbled and, um, and I really, you know, will remember this day. I'm, I'm so, so grateful. Thank you.